the goal for this wipe though is actually to go for um, Lost Island Pirate Cave. They said it was customized, but I didn't get to see any pictures or anything of the cave. For some reason, they didn't post those. But when we did get to the, um, the Pirate Cave, it was really not what we expected. It's still a decent cave, but we might scout around to try to find a different cave, but we'll see. At the end of the day, it's still an okay cave. The tribe already spammed it off. But um, the audio also, of course, corrupted in a lot of these clips. So I'd be doing some voiceovers and just speeding it up and throwing some music. Um, I don't know why a lot of the audio through the series just got completely messed up and corrupted. For some reason they ended up putting the like customization part right there instead of actually putting it where your main wall would go. And it's not even a crouch, so it's not like if they would have moved it there, it would have been too broken. I just preferred if it was there. So it's kind of just an odd place because we can just rocket run a wall here. So we're going to start here, and then we're going to look around, see if we can find a raid or maybe a different spot to try to take. If not, worst case scenario, we're going to come back to the cave. We're going to get building up, and yeah, see what we can do. It's still a decent cave either way. We got to get a few early game Trinidons tamed up, but we're kind of getting bullied, bullied by all the uh, snakes and stuff nearby. It's a pretty actually dangerous area on foot, um, especially without a bunch of topo or anything or um, anything like that. You just get knocked out like really quick. So, um, yeah, it's, it's an interesting time, but we're going to we're going to suck it up. We're going to try to find some Trinidons, get them knocked out, deal with these snakes and just continue to get knocked out, apparently, because that's all we can do at the moment is get knocked out. And it seems like as soon as we get hit once, we are out and we are Sleepy Joe. Finally got the Trinidon bullet knocked out. Let's get it tamed up and see how it comes. Um, it's just kind of like whatever Trinidons at this point, I'm just kind of taming. Like at this point, whatever I see, I'm taming because anything early game to get around the map. And there's a lot of issues um, with this wipe. Like the weight was broken. Like it's supposed to be infinite weight and it's not. And they kept wanting to take down the servers, kept trying to fix it. Apparently they got a new team this wipe and it just messed up everything. Like nothing was right. So like your Trinidons had a hundred um, weight and you, yeah, they're taking it out again. But um, it had like a hundred weight. You can't move. You can't do anything. Like it's, it was just one of those things where when you pumped a point, it went up by like, I think like five or 10, like it, it was just all messed up. The new people pretty much messed up the server. They eventually do fix it, but it's like two hours in a wipe before anything really can get done. Like everything was just wrong drops, everything just, yeah, was not very good start. They customized it, but like we said, they customized it so ass. Look, they put this here instead of here. Like, why? Why wouldn't you have that where we could put our main wall? Yeah, the new people on Arkland. And no, he's still co-founder, but he let somebody else do all the work, pretty much. We're gonna get like a good text to go right off the bat for them to rewipe. Yeah, if it comes over 6k, that's pretty good. Anything over 6k is pretty good to start with. If you're wondering why the audio is so, so quiet, because this is like the certain parts of the audio that didn't fully corrupt that I can kind of get to sound okay if I like raise it up. I don't really know what happened, but um, so some of it's going to be quiet. Other parts I'm just going to fully just mute and do some voiceovers and stuff because it's unbearable. Die. Yeah, I'm about to die, bro. Please tell me everything is dead, man. I should have kept some damn. I should have kept some damn bed bruise on me. So you are in there though. First shit is just instantly spawning back. All these foundations here. Just come back, grab your May wing, and go behind the wall. Like, get into the thing and just May wing pass. Way easier. Just may wing straight down. The An arthropleura just broke it. No way. Well, I'm bringing my wing wing down since I'm running up. An arthropleura broke it. Mm -hmm. Damn. That's why you gotta clear this shit out. Oh, I'm on my way down. Damn. 
Makes you wonder, should we take this over? I mean, this would be broken. Though. You think I this or blue here. blue cave? I think this would be better. This is would be crazy. But we'd have to get that wall up, man. This would make some nice content too. Because base you never really built in. Yep. I've built here before, but I've never really recorded it. This shit's kind of annoying though. Oh no, shit's killing your shit too. That's fine, dude. I don't really care. How'd you die? I jumped off the thing. How'd you do that for? I wanted to, motherfucker. But I don't know, I'm probably fucking. I'm tired, bro. Oh, leave me on my own. I'm tired, dog. Alright, get on time. Fuck you. Last night. You made me stay up way too late last night. Oh, I did it? We went to bed early. No, we didn't. Oh, shit. I see how it is. It's alright. I get this claimed. I get everything done. I make us look fat. Oh you have a wife, you have kids. Bitch. Man, shut up. You have a life. I don't. And yeah. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to, about to get the thickest base, bro. I'm gonna make you proud. Good job, son. <laughs> proud of you, son. Right. You disappoint me your whole life. Maybe not this time. Damn. <laughs> Harsh. This shit. I ain't got. Oh my god. Bruh, he kind. He low key thick. I made it back down here. Naked. How? I don't know. Bruh. Is there a quicker like way to destroy that forge? Dude, I can see my body. Give me grapples. Oh, how, how am I? How is there only one crossbow? Damn, my only crossbow? Thank you. I got my body back. Hey, you want me to drop my bag so you can go through it real quick so you can see the shit that I got? No, you're good. I'm All good. right. You're the one with the meat stick on there, I don't. Okay. I don't know how to get this forge down. Oh, oh I just got bullets. shit! Oh. Bruh, I'm getting myself fucked. I didn't expect that. Bruh, this dude, <laughs> this dude is trying and we're about to lose everything. This dude is on a whole nother level of try harding his ass off. Bruh, I bullet him and I'm gonna like. I literally could not kill him. Oh, put me under pressure, why don't you? You're coming back down or no? Got him bullet again? Bro, I've comped this dude in the lake so many times. There's no way. Got him, bitch. Shit. Got all his shit too. Oh, this is their base. This is his base.
Yeah, yeah, I got the group. Sure, I can see that. I might have to turn the camera up too. Now you good? What about right here, like inside? I guess you need to come in. I got a couple stone foundations that I can get, like right here. Alright, nice. Very nice, very nice. Alright, I'm gonna harvest all these mantises that I see. Getting a lot of polymer. I ain't even gotta do a polymer run for a minute. Now, hopefully this will be a lag spike, that's why I was jumping, I wasn't oh. moving. Oh. Says the one that just went off the edge, <laughs> like I did earlier. It would have been easy to lead it off, but I don't want to take the chance of dying. Uh, nice. Hey, I'm getting levels, so I'm not complaining. Time. So this is going to be us uh, just kind of build it up. Everybody did get off, which plays a big part later on. Um, the bozo and them kind of left me on like an hour into wipe after we got the cave. So you'll see how that plays out later on. But hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. I really do appreciate all the support. Make sure you drop that like. Make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. And with that being said, let's get into the video. Let's get this done. We got to get some taming, some farming. We got to get that base built up. We, um... We got a lot to do, especially if we're going to try to hold a church cave. So we'll see what happens.
Honestly, 6.2 um, for a Stego to start off with ain't too bad. 6.2k, so we'll take it. We got to get some of these Dynotificuses hatched and uh, raised up. That'll be good for the base. But, um, yeah, it's coming along pretty well. I have a little bit of a crafting station over here. We still got a little bit to clear. But, yeah, it's all, I'm by myself right now, so we'll see what we can accomplish. And this is where everything turned for the worst. So some people pulled up on us. I wasn't too worried at first, but at the same time, it's like an hour or two into white, maybe even a little longer. I can't exactly remember. And I knew that this is an eight man server. So if somebody really wanted this spot, there's nothing I'm going to be able to do right now. Um, since it was just me on um, the bozo had to go. The wife wasn't tribed up yet. I think at the time she was still at work. And it was just me, even a three man's risky to try to claim Church Cave, but I thought it'd be good content and I was going to give it a shot. I didn't expect um, one of the bigger tribes to pull up like instantly, especially with the riot shields and shit. They could just run the little bit of turrets I did have. So yeah, this is where I started to sweat and was a little stressed out because right now it was just one dude, but I knew it eventually turned into more than one. And more than one is definitely what happened. Instantly, as soon as I ran over to get a few things, they ran in with riot shields. A couple other people ran behind them. They blew the little bit of tower I had. And yeah, then just full panic mode. I was going to try to grapple one of them and just kind of yeet them off to this edge over there. But I, I just could not manage to do that. So the only thing I could think of is I have a few turrets over there. It's kind of scummy, but there's nothing against the rules about running with your loot. You just can't despawn it or anything. So I had the idea in mind. Yes, get over there. Get the important stuff. Um, and yes, get out of here. And we'll go back to Lost. Uh, thankfully, Ashley did not die right here. I got sniped so many times. I, I Yeah, I, I, it could have been all over right there if I would have died. But, um, yeah, so my idea was just to kind of run up, get the loot, and just to dip. It's a really scummy thing to do. But, hey, we just started. The bigger tribe's already attacking. Yeah, let's get the stuff. Let's try to get out of here. Let's see if we can make it out alive. Let's see if we can possibly run past everybody with the loot and see if we can actually get out of here. I could not believe we actually escaped their entire tribe. There had to be at least five or six of them that I know of. Um, there was a dude in a melee that just ran by. There was still a couple shooting at me. They're just all running around and somehow they did not see me. They eventually do. I go back. They did take over Church Cave, which makes sense. The bigger tribe's clearly going to want that spot. It's going to be broken once you get tech turrets and things up, but it was worth a shot. So we're going to hide here for a second. Let them continue to hopefully scatter 
hopefully they find out that I'm gone or think that I'm gone. We're going to go to a drop. We're going to head back over to Lost Island because we still technically do have that cave. And we're going to keep that cave for now and see what we can accomplish. Get built up and they customize Lost Island. Pirate cave. So, yep, that's the end of church. And I know people were probably wondering why I would even show that. Well, to be honest, if you take a now, you just bounce back from it. I'm not one of the YouTubers that are going to cut everything out. If I die, I die. If I lose, I lose. At the end of the day, it's just a game. I'm here to have fun. I'm not going to hide every death. If you guys kill me or what, I, I'm, it's going in the video. Like, it is what it is. Like, I don't know why people will, like, seem like it's so shameful if a YouTuber dies or gets raided. Shit happens. But at the end of the day, we're still going. We're pushing back stronger than ever. And we're going to get this cave filled up. We're going to get those tech turrets up. And we're going to try to build up stronger and better than ever before. What's everybody's favorite cave on Lost? Because Lost don't have like a bunch of insanely good caves. But honestly, I know there's like Crouch Cave. Castle Cave's a good one. The Underwater Cave is really broken in my opinion. But um, honestly, like I know Pirate isn't the greatest cave. But for like room-wise and build-wise, this cave seems to have so much potential. I just wish the entrance was a little stronger. But I guess with that customization, it does make it a little better. But like for building-wise, I definitely got to go with Lost. But for like, you know, actually, yeah, there was like a weird barrier right there. For some reason, we couldn't build or like walk through. But um, yeah, uh, like for like PvP wise, I'd have to go with the underwater cave or the crouch cave. But I've also had a few good wipes in Castle Cave. But let me know your favorite cave actually on here. I wish um the Redwoods Cave over on the cliff side was like a small entrance because that would be pretty broken as well. But yeah, let me know your favorite cave below. So at this point we actually definitely had the three men on now like we had the wife the bozo and everybody like now the base is coming along how it should have at the beginning of the wipe like we have paracers going we have stegos we have everything that we could possibly need going like we still got to get more tech turrets and structures and all that boss fights and stuff done but like it's going along pretty well we got some all right pracers pracers jesus if i could actually talk but um yeah it's coming along pretty good so this is where we're going to end today's video this is where everything's going to start getting interesting we got a tribe we're going to be able to do a lot more but with that being said make sure you like make sure you subscribe make sure you stay tuned for the future videos i'm still going to try to upload daily or as quick as i can and with that being said thank you guys for all the support and i will catch you guys all in the next video hopefully you guys have an amazing day night wherever you're from and yeah peace Welcome to the channel, it's Gander Gamer, you're back with yet another video. So in the previous video, we claimed Scorched Earth, um, a church cave. We ended up actually losing it, but we had Lost Island Pirate Ship um, claimed, so we actually went back over there. We started building up, so the base is coming along really nicely. We actually have a lot of stuff going for us, since it's all three of us actually on now. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of base tour here soon, and we're going to get a little bit of building and stuff done. I do not have um, the tech engram also unlocked, but the tribe member does, so like I'm able to place them, I just can't turn them on and everything. So in a little bit, we're going to try to do the boss fight, so all three of us have the tech turret and all the tech engrams that we need. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and yeah, stay tuned, and we're going to get into a lot of stuff. Somebody does pull up on us, but it seems like every time that we do get on, they just kind of like dip. Seems like a common occurrence with some of these tribes is like they just want to offline. We do eventually find them later on in the series, and we do pay them a visit, so stay tuned.
I ended up moving the beds back because I kept spawning out there. We do have a few beds out here, but at this point, we definitely didn't want anybody pulling up and pushing too hard because our wall was looking quite weak. I mean, it was coming along with just the three of us. We were getting it done. Now that once we do all go to the boss fight, we're going to be able to do a lot more. We also got very lucky, and the Bozo got some decent melee, 210. Um, we all have uh, 240 um the new dino car cars or whatnot like we have some decent stats going we're gonna keep continuing to tame build this base pvp and everything this wipe as much as we can see how long we can last um the customization of this cave is not what we intended we thought it was going to be right here but they didn't show pictures of this wipe so we weren't sure so we just had to kind of yellow it. it ended up being like halfway up in that little spot that you could see a little bit ago i don't know why they put the customization there but it is what it is we have 6.5k stegos as well we had 6.2 but we got a little bit of an upgrade so not doing too bad we have like 9k on the pracers don't know if that's good or bad you guys will have to let me know in the comments below but let's get this wall a little bit built let's get some things done around the base The Bozo wasn't on right now. He actually had to get off. So I'm going to go ahead and place the tech turrets. I can't really use them or anything. Like I can't turn them on or any of that. But as soon as he gets on, he's going to be able to activate them. And then he'll put ammo and all that. So, um, yeah, it's coming along pretty nicely. Now that we do have tech turrets and things going, um, it's not looking too bad. He went, up and we, he, he went ahead and crafted these with the element he got from the Frowls fight. We're going to do another boss fight in a bit. And then we'll probably take a replicator over to the center. Use the element again because it's just easier over there. The center boss fight's very easy. So we'll just have to farm shards over here for us to fill up our tech turrets. And then we can just craft our stuff over on another map. So that's the goal. That's the plan. Um, hopefully we don't get messed with for a little while at least until we get the boss fights and everything done so I get these tech turrets on. We need to check some of these stats and things see how we're doing on our stats because I'm not sure. I bred up a bunch of these because we don't really have tames like imprinted us. And we have some like old stego eggs and stuff that we honestly need to destroy. Like the 43 points I'll probably go ahead and hatch. But we do have up to 45 if I recall. Yeah, so not too bad. We have a cloner stego. We might eventually start cloning. We just found a low level female. We've just been taming up as many as we can. Alright, let's actually complete this thing this time. <laughs> Oh my god, it did that thing where it crafted another parachute when I jumped even though I have 20 in my inventory. $60 game. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Oh, he's right there. Are you up there? Yeah, I'm up. I'm just whipping. Oh, fuck. He's coming. He's pushing me! I don't even see him. Oh no, I fell. Oh my god. I'm dead. I got arced. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god. Make the jump. I got it. I'm up. <laughs> He's on a very happy, happy camper right now. Got I don't it. have any more parachutes. Wait, you're out of parachutes? Yeah, I fucking... I used the ball for are, fucking building. Are you a good? Yeah, I got some. I haven't moved to this. Oh, he's right here! I know, I'm trying to get his aggro. Are you good? Yeah, go, 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 go. 
god. Oh, Alright. Wow. Yeah, I was trying to whip the thing and like I just fell right off the edge. Come on, whip. Damn. Damn, that almost ended bad again. They're definitely not nerfed much. It is dead. Nice. I have the Ingrams now. I was loud as fuck for no reason. Hey, Jack. Why do I still not have tech turret? Uh, Broodmother gives tech turret. I've killed Broodmother there before. <coughs> huh. Where are you going? Grab the elephant. Fuck! Oh shit, she hit me. As soon as I come to your spot, I get hit. I'm talking to him. Not you, you, you. You didn't hit me. I'm talking about the brood mother. I assume she was a she because it's called a brood mother. Scooch over. <coughs> Which way? That way, yep. Treat. I just can't ever hit the spider unless I'm down here because she decides to run off everywhere. Definitely dies She's a great. lot quicker. I don't Aww. like when she goes over there. Cause you can actually, the brood brother can actually climb up this from over there. The same one yesterday, the 32 slot. <coughs> Honestly, I was hoping she'd spit at you and you'd die while doing that. You get the engram? Anti so isn't that the guys that were aren't this the guy we were looking for yesterday? Well nobody spams anything outside Pearl. It's all six times through there, that's why people don't really do anything. I watched your video. Oh that was nice. That I've, was nice. I've been practicing. I don't know if you've watched some of my recent videos, but I've been I've been doing some better bolo in recently. Why is he so fast? <laughs> I wonder how much movement speed he pumped. Where'd he go? Probably ran back in the cave. Like he's like, I have 217 movement speed and I can't keep up with him. Oh, he's down there. Or that's a different dude actually. Oh, dud, bro, they're multiplying. They're multiplying. <coughs> he's on a tech suit, he's a tech suit main. I'm about to run. Oh, I'm bowling. I'm screwed. Oh, I'm dead. They're tech suity. <laughs> Who does that, man? They're, they're literally tech suit mains, man. The most scummiest thing. He put a transmitter over him. I can't really do much, but I got a Maywing. Well, you're Maywing. Yeah, I'm coming up. Oh, they're coming, babe. Run, 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 run. Yeah, your Maywing's getting messed up. Hey, babe. Do you have a shotgun and, or anything on you, babe? Uh, there's no fun to fight in this. Alright, it's just dip then. Oh. Go do his All right. oh my god, I'm a dumbass. I forgot the replicator. You're lying. No, I'm not. I'll be back. You fucking idiot.
Towards the end of the night though, we were just messing about PvP and everything in the base, you know, just doing what tribes do, bulloing each other, shotgunning each other, wasting flag durability because why well, not? And with that being said, make sure you like, subscribe, we are, we're going to do some gigas, then we have a few raids that we want to go scout on Lost as well. Um, one of them's over in that desert rat hole, we're going to see if they're still built there, and if so, we're going to go ahead and raid that base, try to get some loot out of it. But yeah, with that being said, like, subscribe, and let's get right into it. Get this. It's gonna take even longer to knock these out now. Why are you attacking me? Now that I think about it, there's no point in even placing this because I have no gas. I have gas. Oh, you do? Sweet. <laughs> you lucky. Bro, I cannot kill this bug. This bug has no hit radius with the sniper. Do you have a hatchet or something on you? Because I actually do not. <laughs> hey, I'm on mouse and keyboard right now. Are you actually Proud mouse and keyboard? Nice. You know what's nice? If you click F6, it shoots for you. Yeah, I've noticed that. You almost hit the Giga, bro. Did I really? Yeah. Damn. Rip. It literally shot like right in front of my feet and I was standing right next to it. 190 pre-melee means it's going to go down to about 140. That's such horse shit. Maybe not. It could go up. <laughs> Bro, you when does know. it ever go up? I know, but you never know. <laughs> Just like it has 80,000 health and it goes down to like 28,000. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's so annoying. I remember when I knocked my first one out, bro. I was so shocked with this death. I was like, 80,000 health when it tamed. It had like 17,000. I was like, wait, what happened? What? <laughs> yeah, I was like, it could go down that much? He's flying around. Oh, I see him. Should I snipe his ass? Well, I'm, I'm sniping his ass. I don't know who you are, but I don't appreciate you. Coming up in our what? biz. Bro, there's only like five people on right now. How we get stuck? How do we run into the one person? Cause she's still on hush, I guess she's on center. Dun 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 uh, The guy kind of flew off, I don't know if he was circling back here. Let me peek over this, mo this little mountain thing right here. Alright, I see it's knocked out. Hey, hey, boom, boom, boom. Hey, this we got 220 base melee. Don't really, don't really mean anything, but <laughs> never seen a kid poop so much in my life. Jesus, crime video was scary. Got me some sweet tea. If you ain't got you a gallon of sweet tea in the fridge, you ain't from the country. You ain't from the south. Oh, he is gonna do something. I'm trying to grapple him off. Oh yeah, you don't like my velo. Wait, is that your velo? Yeah, that's the velo I just tamed. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Let's see what the stats came out on this. Did he hit it? 3k HP. Meh. Uh, not very good, but it's not, a female. Yeah, I mean, it's not terrible, but it ain't the best. Where'd he go? I wish I had a net on me better but i wish my last shot went i didn't see a hit marker though but yeah it's level 260 i clearly hit it god damn it i mean 230 damn that i was gonna take like... i was gonna take the precaution just let it go back wake back up and then knock it back out again but uh well we could tame a few more he probably should upload that one though oh there's a fucking earthworm or a desert worm where's he at i think he's trying to trap that fucking I'm killing his main wing, I don't even give a fuck. Alright, I'm gonna look for him real quick. Where is he? he he's for sure bugged.
Oh my god. God damn it. I was, I I was trying to place enough. one, but... Bro, stop moving. Yeah, you ain't gonna be able to... Oh. Oh my god, that's so dumb. Got it. Go tame him. No, kill the oh, bug. No. Kill the bug with what? I gotta snipe this damn thing. How do I sn Bro, there's no hit radius. I can't hit the bug. I Here, well, I got the bug distracted. I cannot walk it. There's a green 145 car car right here. I'm gonna see All if right. this works. If it works, if it works, if it doesn't, it doesn't. If it works, I'll tame more like that if it's just one bite, but... You can do it. He's walking towards... Uh, no, I'm scared. He's walking towards the and the oh, man. What the fuck? Oh, wait. He's sniffing. He's sniffing. What are you gonna kill once it's tamed? You can't kill the Giga. <laughs> Running, find a little bug. Ow! He's done. Run and kill a bug. To your right. Nope, that's not a bug. Over here. Oh, well, yeah, there's nice. Nice. Tamed it. 210. Oh, that's better than what we have. It has an upgrade. Bro, okay, well, if we see him by Paracers, let's just do that. I'm coming. Bro, I'm right what? here. Should we raid it? Is it easy? Wait, isn't there a hole right here? Yeah, I see the spam. Do outside. they not have turrets they have, outside? They have turrets outside. You gotta come up above. Oh, I but the turrets up above are no point because I can just rocket them down, rocket down on them. I'm being detected. It is so fat, bro. Look at just look at the wall right here that we could just rocket it all down. What the fuck? Low key, I want, bro. Look how they did their wall inside. I know. Got one more on the top. It's down. Now you can come right over here and just shoot straight down. Oh shit. Yep. You gotta shoot this like second from like the top. Oh shit. Oh. oh shit, you're making me stressed out for you. Good Worked shit. out. Are they all down? I think so. I know my AC is so loud right now, yep, but. They're all down. How much ammo did they have? Oh, dude, like 500 per? Totally worth. Oh yeah, 500, you're right. Impressive. Bro, this shit's not on aggressive. I'm gonna compound bow it. I'm just gonna throw all the TRB in our turrets on our fob. Alright, I'm getting C4. Got C4. Bro, Loki dire wolves do so much damage. Facts. They just don't have like the saddles or anything, so they're just not as good as they could be. Taking that meat. Gotta get that down so we can actually run up in there. Why isn't that like fence support destroying? I think they're down. Well, the ones to the right are down. There's a pillar you can get behind right here, though. If you look in there, like as soon as you walk, go to the right. There's a pill. Oh, now the pillar's gone. There you go, right there. Keep shooting there. How is my armor breaking all the way back here? Broke another turret. The fuck? I didn't move my rocket thing.
We have a cell buggy. Oh yeah, shit. Why'd they build us so close? Bro, just third person C4 up under. That's all you gotta do. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, there's so many. If they all have 500 bullets, it's a lot of ammo. Oh, oh shit. My god. They built this so weird. They didn't need this wall right here. Well, if it destroys, I'm rocketing, so I'm staying in. Oh, actually, a good idea to stay up here. Yeah, I'm prepared. Ready? I'm gonna run at that damn thing if this wall comes down. <laughs> yep. You have a rocket launcher? Yeah, you, you want the launcher? There you go. I just got mine equipped because I'm ready. Because <laughs> I feel like the whole thing could go down. Is the turtle still going? Yeah. How? <laughs> oh, I'm good. Here we I'm good. at the wall. Blow it. So we ended up actually getting in. Sadly, I don't really have any video of all the loot because for some reason my recording software just stopped recording at this but point. We are slacking on some BP, so I'm going to do my typical BP farm today and also probably breed up and do some other things. I like to hit up Crystal Wilds. There's some places on Fiordor and... Um, the caves over there that kind of respawn some of the loot crates pretty quickly that I'll show you guys But we're gonna get some BPs today. I know a lot of people are probably saying well Why aren't you doing lava golem? I we have ran it a few times We just haven't had very good luck on the server with that So we're gonna do it this way because we seem to get better BPs so like subscribe and let's get into it Something we don't really have much of that I actually seen while I was over here doing that is Bloodstalkers. You guys will also have to let me know in the comments below what is some good stats on Bloodstalkers because I haven't really looked into it too much. I normally just tame them and to be honest I just breed them. But I'm also trying to get more into like breeding stats and stuff and actually trying to get my lines. Like clearly I know Gigas and everything but I don't really mess around with Bloodstalkers too much. So you guys will have to let me know in the comments below if these are good stats or not because I have no clue. I'm kind of clueless. I figured anything over 300 melee would be good. Good, but this had 222 so let me know if that's good in the comments below so over here in Fyodor, if you guys did not know, uh, what is this cave called? I think they call it like the Yeti Cave or something, but it's a cave full of like the Yetis and um, Perlovias, Bears, and all that stuff. These drops are kind of broken because like you can get them like three, four times in a row. You can just go in circles and they will continue to keep respawning for at least three, four times around. So this is also like a really good way to actually get some really broken BPs. Um, and then there's also the bee cave that also does the same thing. We'll have to see if there's a tribe actually built in there because I'm not too sure. But there's a few drops that also will respawn a few times. But this cave seems to be like one of the best caves in my opinion to get drops like for BPs and stuff. You guys want to let me know in the comments where you guys do get your BPs from. Because personally I know a lot of people will say Lava Golem but I don't have the best luck with Lava Golem. And at the beginning of Wipes and stuff there's so many people there. I just kind of run these caves and get my BPs here and then over on Crystal Wilds because you'll see here in a minute that some of these will just continue to respawn. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit so you guys can see all of the BPs that we do get.
so far it's actually been a really good run i know the car car saddle don't look very good to most people but on here it's like infinite crafting skill so we'll be able to get that highly up we got um the sword for the mantises shotgun we even got a velo saddle and a rhino which it's it's all stuff that we need so all of this is actually really good and this is just off of one run of doing the few cave drops that i do get over here we still have to go do the b cave and see what else we can find Yeah, when we first came in here, we ended up dying, and as you can tell, there's so much in here. So be careful, like, we almost died again, but somehow, miraculously, we got on the train and almost able to get out. This cave is very dangerous. Make sure you actually bring the right stuff and don't be a bob like me and just come in here on foot. And uh, I, we did bring a train on back, then we were able to because the caves are able to be flying. But we're going, or flying in. Jesus, crying many and easily. But uh, yeah, with that being said, we're going to grab these drops, and you'll see that they kind of respawn as well. Yes, we actually got a mutation on a Stego, so now, I mean, it's not very impressive, but instead of 6.5, we do have 6.7k tech Stegos. I'm sure there's people out there already this wipe with like 7, 7.5, but uh, for us, you know, 6, 6.7 will do the job for now. I mean, we're getting there. We're breeding them up more. I wish we would have had a higher start, like a 6.8 or a 7k to start with, but we just haven't got lucky, so we just started breeding what we have. We're also going to hatch up some more Stegos and other things because we need to get stuff imprinted does to start raising like some car cars some stegos some trikes some paracers we need some mantises for defense and mantises are still good for farming people kind of sleep on them
So we imprinted a lot of our tames. We have the car cars. They're they're pretty good. I think they're like 200 melee and stuff. So not too bad to uh, start serious, with. So people but, um, keep kind of pulling up and then they end up dipping. But um, yeah, we're going to get the base build up. We claimed a custom modded pirate cave, whatever you want to call it, um, like five videos ago. So make sure you guys watch the entire series. With that being said, we're going to get built up a little bit more. We're going to play some more of these throughout the, uh, the little entrance right here. We're also going to do some raising up, hopefully get a little bit of base defense, maybe if they come back when we're online, and see what else happens throughout the day. If you guys are new around here, make sure you subscribe. If you do like the video, make sure you hit that like button, turn on post notifications so you never miss when I upload. And with that being said, let's get into it. So it turns out the tribe that was actually messing with us, which is right there, they were getting raided while they were trying to raid our base. So I came over to scout and uh, to come to find out their base was pushed really hard and I kind of like came to the end of it where the guys were looting and uh, leaving. So yeah, the guys that were messing with us actually turned out to they got raided like they were over at our base raiding us, I guess not paying attention to their logs and ended up getting raided while they're messing with our stuff so we're gonna see if we can get any leftovers see if we can kill anybody see if there's anybody still in the cave but yeah as you can tell they got pretty messed up they just got fully wiped so we'll see what happens So I was just being very cautious because there was a guy that I seen swim out on a Maywing before I actually came in here. But uh, it does seem like they didn't get all the loot. There is still a little bit of loot in here. So we're going to loot up what we need or what we want to take. Like I'm just going to take the blueprints because why not? Like there's you know, BPs really clutch. I mean gas bags aren't as good as they used to be. But you know might still find use for that later on. So didn't have any Stego saddles or Stego saddle BP sadly. But um, yeah we're just going to grab what we can loot up the rest of this see what's in here see if they come back maybe wait around for a few maybe we can get a little bit of pvp but it does seem like they dip this just seems like loot that they maybe don't want or don't need in their base because they didn't seem too worried about taking it so we'll see there's also a maywing outside that i want to kill that's in the water as well before we do leave
we didn't end up with too much but we ended up with a little bit of stuff i mean it was pretty much free leftover loot so why not we're gonna take this back we're going to work on getting our own teams and stuff going we need to get a big skeletal tower and stuff outside as well which we are planning on got a lot of work to do the base so i'm gonna try to make this a pretty long series for you guys so make sure you definitely stay tuned um i ended up getting stuck but with that being said let's see what else we can get into today So our paracers from the previous video are finally raised up. It took them long enough. They're fully raised. What took the longest is them healing. I'm definitely going to have to pre-dub the Deodons, get a Deodon over here so I can start healing on my teams. So I can actually get them cry out a lot quicker. So we got to cry up our teams just to make room for the tribe and uh, just to make room for us to breed up more. So we got some car cars going. We got some Gigas that we definitely need to breed up. We have Stegos. We have a lot of teams now. We're still missing some. Our stats may not be the best, but I mean, they're good enough to get by for now so we can raid for better, maybe get lucky by taming more. But 200 melee on a car car seems pretty good. But uh, yeah, it's kind of a mess as you can tell. So we definitely got to get some of our stuff cryoed up. We're going to go ahead and do some floating turrets with the hatch frame trick. We're going to go ahead and get those placed so they shoot some tech riders and things like that. All for anybody that tries to kind of push. Hopefully these will make our cave a little bit stronger to help us last a little longer. We're also going to have multiple floorings throughout the cave like this is just the first part of the cave and as you can see there's so much potential we can get three four layers here if we wanted to like breeders on one area you know an incubator is set up in the other area to actually hatch the things probably leave the bigger stuff like the gigas and stuff down on the bottom floor because everything likes to fall through a 60 dollar game they like to fall through the ceilings it's we are going to use some cliff plots which should help just around the edges just to save us on some of the ceilings as many as many as we can because you can only place three like nearby but if we spread them out around the edges it should help help us quite a bit We need to do the boss fight. We need to get some more shards and stuff for the tech turrets that we're placing for the bozo to power on and get filled up with some um, shards. So we're going to quickly run through this boss fight. I'll skip through it a little bit. You guys have seen me do it a hundred times. This one was actually very close. We actually almost ended up dying. Like this one did not go as planned. Everything kind of backfired. Everything started aggroing on me. So I had to lead some stuff away, kill it go back we do manage to get the boss fight done but it was definitely a lot closer than i wanted it to be i mean as you can tell the dinotificus was pretty much dead towards the end thankfully we had the other team over there just soaking and she was shotgunning it and stuff so it's doing a little bit of damage but uh yeah this was definitely a lot closer than i wanted it to be
Well, the boss fight definitely did not go as planned. The monkey was over there doing who knows what it glitched out. I couldn't get his attention. And then, of course, I ended up falling. I I'm died. Excited for this one. So in today's video, we raid this really poorly built base. Honestly, I don't even think we should have ended up setting up a fob for it. But I wasn't sure if they were online at the time. They built these cliff plat chandeliers, whatever you want to consider these, so poorly. But um, we're going to raid because the end of the series is coming to an end. A lot of bases are getting raided. The server is completely dying out. So we'll probably have like one more, maybe two more videos on this, depending if we can actually find really any other bases that you know a duo or a trio can raid like i think snow north is still standing but i i can't be asked but i don't have enough time with work and everything right now to try to raid that other than that though there's not very many like there's these little bases just hidden around um left so we're gonna raid a few of those see if we can actually get any loot because some people just build really poorly but they'll actually be really thick so we'll see We'll see what happens. Hopefully you guys are excited about the video. Make sure you go check out Miss Yona's channel. She's almost at a thousand subscribers. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, like the video, also turn on post notifications. Just get into this raid and hope that you guys enjoy. So we are going to set up a little bit of a tower outside or a fob, whatever you want to call it. Just a couple heavies. Um, they didn't really have any spam out here, so we're able to put this here, which if they are online, will pretty much keep them kind of stuck inside unless they see spam over or something. But with the looks of their base, uh, I don't think they really have too many teams honestly maybe they have a bunch of stuff cryopotted who knows you guys will see in a minute the base is built very weird but this will definitely keep them pretty much inside their um cave and if they do try to push us we do have a fob to at least try to fight back and all that so we're gonna get to possibly not even soaking i really don't think i have to soak i think i can just go up under their cliff flats and third person c4 but we'll see worst case scenario we do have a few soakers finally raised up we got some paracers and everything ready to go fully healed so if we do have to do any soaking we'll be set today We're gonna go ahead and pop on in here and see if we can actually get up under these cliff plats because I think we can just run up third person C4 and pretty much be inside their base. Don't really know what the back of the cave looks like, but we're about to find out. Hopefully this is gonna be a pretty easy raid and we don't have to do really any soaking or any of that because it'd just be a hassle. Yeah, so as you can see, like they have turrets like on the cliff plat, but like some of them aren't even powered. Yeah, like, you can just walk right up under it, so we're just gonna go ahead and third person C4 this. I don't know what's going on with this base, I don't know if they were just setting up or what, but we will definitely take a look and see what we can get out of it. And definitely assuming these guys came from Genesis. I mean, they got the big ass turtle. They got shadow mains. They got a stone base though. These are some Gen 2 bobs if I've ever seen them. Or Gen 1 bobs. I don't know what's going on. They were like, why why build walls and stuff if you're in a cave? Like, I, I don't know what was going on with this base. But we're definitely going to see if we can get anything good loot, any good loot out of it. God damn, sounding like an auctioneer. Give me a 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. With that being said, let's see if we can get any loot out of here. And, um maybe some cryopotted stuff i don't know it seems like they have most of their stuff thrown out but honestly seeing Karkar, shadow main all that stuff actually does give me some hope that there is going to be some good stuff inside this base
Loki, it was kind of stacked. Like, that is insane. We have an overcap shotgun. Sadly, he don't have the BP. Clearly, he must have killed that or got that off of somebody. But having an overcap shotgun is going to be very nice. So we do plan on running Rockwell to uh, get the last little, uh, what am I trying to say? The last little engrams that we need for tech, uh, the tech chest piece and stuff. So, um, so far, like, we've actually got a decent amount out of this base, and uh, I couldn't believe it, actually, because, like, it's just built so, like, Bob-like, but, like, they actually have a decent amount of loot. So, I was pretty happy with what we're getting, like, it, it was pretty stacked. Um, some of the BPs were worse, some of the BPs were better, you know, some of them are just so expensive. But all of it, honestly, you know, all the resources and everything will go towards making more turrets and everything, getting our base even thicker. So I really can't complain because we didn't really have to do any soaking or any work for this base. Just a little bit of C4 and we definitely made the profit back for sure.
Yo, welcome to the channel. It's Gaming Gamer. Back with yet another video. So in today's video, we do this raid. So I wasn't really sure if there was a base in here because when you look behind the Behemoth Gate, um, there wasn't actually a wall or anything. But to our surprise, further we get into the cave, there is a base and it actually is very stacked. It is loaded. And then we also are going to go do Rockwell after this. That's the goal. So hopefully you guys are excited. Make sure you like, subscribe, stay tuned. We got I think one more video before this series ends. I think it's been like nine episodes or like eight episodes, something like that. So hopefully you guys didn't enjoy it and the customized pirate cave over on lost island i got a few more wipes coming for you we build on extinction we play on a few steam servers we even play imian server and uh duos and yeah we just we got a lot of things coming so stay tuned subscribe if you're new around here turn on post notifications and with that being said let's get in this raid and see what we can accomplish I wasn't sure how much ammo they had and we have these really crappy stegos like primitive saddle and stuff we've gotten from other raids so the goal was I'm just going to kind of run it head first maybe I can get close enough to the wall to get a couple rockets off since it's six times if not we'll pull out the paracers that are fully healed with cap saddles and we'll just soak it honestly I could probably maywing dive over it but I really I'm just going to do it this way we don't really have too many maywings and stuff right now to be wasting anyways so we're just going to test out the stegos and see if we can actually make it to the wall if not we'll get out the paracers and i know it's better to back it up to it but i'm just trying to rush it i mean we have these crappy stegos we gotta throw away anyways that's why they're garbage stegos As you could tell, this they didn't have too much ammo. It really didn't take too much long, uh, too long to actually soak. So we're gonna get through this, and we're gonna go try to find their base. Hopefully, there's no more turrets, no more walls, or anything for us to go through. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I I exploded a rocket inside my face, then I tried to jump down and completely butchered that. But um, yeah, with that being said, let's go see if we can actually find their stuff. See if we can get some loot out of this, and see what they got inside. this cave is actually massive this cave wouldn't be too bad if it had a smaller entrance over there if like a server customized it because it is massive but we did find their stuff and they have so many teams and things like it actually looks like it's going to be extremely thick because we need cryos we need teams like already carbo eggs could be better than what we have sorry if my voice does seem a little cracky like my throat has been really dry and like i don't know i probably probably need to go to the doctor and probably catch a like scrap throat or something no my luck but i'm still gonna pump these videos out for you guys so yeah if my voice seems really crackly it's just because i'm not feeling the greatest but um yeah so we're gonna get these done i'm gonna keep getting these daily videos out for you guys i'm gonna speed this up and see what they got see if we can get some a really good profit hopefully so
The cryos were a huge find for us. They had this random metal box which actually had their vaults inside of it. So I don't know why they put it over here. But I was curious because I didn't see any vaults or anything up there. So we're going to blow these. Hopefully get some more loot. But yeah, the cryos alone is like insane for us. So pretty happy with the raid so far. Still going to bring in a car car and meat run it towards the end hopefully as well. I have not really messed around with car cars too much. I've used them like maybe twice at this point. Granted... This series was recorded quite a while ago, so you gotta take that in mind as well. They really must just like keeping their stuff on breeding even when they're not on because now we also have their dire bears which could be good for fiber, poly, and ab, all that good stuff and you know dire bears could be good for defending a cave too if you really had to. I um, mean we have their carbo eggs as well because they left their zone breeding and we actually came at the perfect time for both of these so we're going to cryo these up. The stats are not the greatest but they'll do. I mean fiber, berries, poly, even defense. I mean a free tank is a free team in my book so we're gonna cryo them up see if there's any more babies and see what else we can find We did a little bit of meat run. We're going to blow up these turrets just because why not. And with that being said, we're going to go over and uh, go to Aberration and do the boss over there. And the audio did get messed up a little bit on there. Like I had to quiet it down in certain places. And of course, I wanted to speed up certain parts of it as well. So bear with that. I'm going to throw some music in the back of it. What's up, you ugly motherfucker? Look at, what's wrong with your face, you ugly bitch? This is definitely nerfed, by the way. Yeah, I was about to say, why does it feel like we're both hitting it like once and it's going down? Yeah, it just is nerfed. This is 100%. Nerfed. Oh, yeah. I ain't complaining. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, this is really nerfed. They don't really 
even have to really fuck around with the balls, just keep running. Is there even any? Where's the Reapers and shit at? They probably nerfed that too where they don't spawn. I'm not really worried about it. We got this all day though. Yeah. We gotta wait till he screams. I forgot about that. His obnoxious ass scream. Bro, we bought, we brought way too much ammo. between them. Uh oh, nameless after me. I forgot about that. That's fine, I can outrun a nameless in the We'll see what we get into. There is the bee cave over there that there's a tribe setting up that's moving into it that I think we're going to go hit on Fjordor, the bee cave, whatever cave you want to call that. I call it the bee cave because, you know, you can farm polymer in that. But hopefully you guys are all having an amazing day. Like, subscribe, stay tuned. Um, I'm going to be working on editing the next series because this is going to be the last video for this series. Not much happens after this. Uh, the server just completely died off. I mean, this is pretty much like our first week and it seems like after the first week the servers most unofficial servers just kind of they just kind of die out and it just gets boring after a while but uh yeah we're gonna see what we can get into today hopefully you guys do enjoy it one hostile remain the problem with these this one the reason why it takes so long is because it's fucking every they get stuck on literally everything because they're so fucking small mm -hmm. but we might get lucky with some shit on this, I guess. Some shitty BPs. People do the red OSDs because they give the better BPs, like more Dura. Because most of the time when we're doing, like, you do OSDs, you're looking Ram for Ramshackle like, would be fine for us right now. I know most people, most people don't have the crafting skill, so they do the red OSDs for the better, like, uh -huh. armor BPs and shit. But on this server, it doesn't really matter. Ramshackle or permanent. Maybe not. Wait, where oh, do yeah, all these Tranodons come from? Oh, is it a new round? Oh, I didn't even realize. I was like, yeah, I was like, where do all these come from? Yeah, you're right. These hit registers are just so bad. That's why I use the combo. Yeah, well, I only have my shotgun right now. I 
can't see what round or anything we're on. It's not showing nothing for me. I guess. Because I know it's not making sounds. Uh, wave one of five for hostiles remaining. One. He's up on the cliff. He's so damn small. I don't have a sniper, so. So what's annoying sometimes? About hey, bro, there's one dude on. How do we run into the one dude? I know. Oh shit, that's despawning. What I was using to hide behind. Bro, his aim is so ass. I would go bolo aim, but like he has a tech suit. Like, <laughs> so he's probably the dude that we want to raid. I bet. Tribe he is so bad. Yeah, but I'm the, I just have my shield out and I'm just slowly walking and he has not hit me once. Oh, there's a wyvern that came down behind him. It was that tamed and landed. Is there more than one person on right now? Oh, shit. Was that a lightning wyvern? Yeah, I might be fucked here. Oh shit, our shit got netted. Where you at? Got him. Bitch ass, bro. Lightning, lightning. Oh shit. Grapple, grapple, grapple. Go. Wait, where you at? I just got bullet off. Oh shit, are you bullet? Alright. Oh shit, oh shit. Go, grapple. grapple, go, 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 jump, 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 jump. Oh my god, he's here. <laughs> but we're fucked. Look, they're coming for us. There ain't. The dude on the tech suit, bro. So annoying. Bro, like, that's just our luck. <laughs> Alright, take so fall damage there. Alright, I'm hopping off for a second, me mid brew. Are we just dipping? I don't know, you're caught. This is where I found all the elements. Want the smoke? You don't want it, dude. I've been practicing again. Oh, uh, you've been practicing again? Oh, fuck. Get the fuck out of the water, bitch. That's so funny, <laughs> dude. That's such a cheap shot. Hey. That's so cheap. Hey, we didn't. Damn, I'm removing your bullet, too. That's fucked up. We didn't say the rules that this is a PvP situation. Let's wait till the bowl is fucking wear off first. How long does that shit take? Like a couple seconds. We should be alright now. What that went right through you. Look at your ducking ass. I keep getting stuck on something, like on the ground. <laughs> Makes it very hard over here to like to try to do this like some of these rocks but that went through you huh? all right good 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 that was good shit but yeah some of these like rocks right here like like these over here you get like stuck on them but um we go with oh shit yeah <laughs> all right uh, yeah, look at your low ass level bro uh, shut your bitch ass up. Oh yeah, see, I know exactly where we're at. Where are you going? Oh. Whoa, I've never been in this part. What the fuck? Oh man, I got waited for your ass and got electrocuted. Oh yeah, I've never been up here. I didn't even know this was a thing up here. No shit. I probably it... missed so many BPs. Is this not where you get some of your drops at? No, I've never been up here. Oh. Uh, somebody might have farmed it though. I don't see the first drop, which doesn't mean that they're not in here, but... Oh, right there to Good the left. Right yep. Carbo saddle, not a BP sadly. Yeah, this is what I farm. What the fuck do you farm? I farm the other spot where you go all the way down. Oh, shit. Okay. 
Yeah, I get these because they're so simple. Uh, Actually, you can do this. I'll go do the other one. Yeah, yeah. You go get the other one real quick so we can just meet. Cheaper than probably the Ascendant. It's 213. Oh, here, here's one. Um, oh, I got a Packy Saddle BP. Let's go. <laughs> That's just what I wanted. That's what I envisioned. We came in this That's cave I just to get that. <laughs> 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 it's not like I wanted a Carbo or Stego. I was sitting here thinking, please give me a Packy. Packy Rhino Saddle BP, please. Please. What's going on in here? No. The man is a breeding though. So I'm sitting here and getting Yeah, that yeah, get that, get this stat. I'm gonna bring in the griffin. It's looking like, it's only a 73? Ew. <laughs> that's so bad. Is like that's... Bye, I don't have a single material to make the bed. Let me see if I can find some shit in here real quick, because it is a cave. Let me, uh, do I have a hatchet? Let me hatchet this generator down real quick. They haven't been on in a couple hours. Alright. I should be able to, yeah, I can get everything in here, I bet, to make you a bed real quick. As long as I can get some thatch and wood. Is that all they had? Ain't no way. Why wouldn't they put a wall there? Oh, shit. Wait. Huh? Bro. <gasps> oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Get through, get through this. Bro, there's industrial forges and shit back here. Fuck your blood, stalker. Shit, grab you right off. <laughs> Yeah, what's yeah, actually a base in here? Good cave. What the yeah, like especially with the side blocks. Like this cave is actually really what good. The wow. fuck? What? <laughs> Yo, I really got no clue what actually happened to the audio in this, but it's kind of hilarious. It sounds like I got a mouthful of like gauze and shit when you come from the dentist and like we're trying to talk. But yeah, sorry about the audio. I don't know what happened. Why they have one heavy? Actual leads? Bro, I don't have explosives. Oh, we need to go back. We need to go back ASAP. This could potentially have a lot. They started the wall and then it looks like they got off. They've been off for like 17 hours. That, right. This part has drops around it, by the way. If you didn't know. Yeah, I figured that out when I got the Hey, we got a pike BP. Bro, why they got so many tames? I didn't even see they have a tech stego already. Bro, yeah, we got we we need to go back and grab a couple C4. Like now. You you want to go back real quick? I'm gonna make him a bottle so we can actually do this. I'm gonna hide somewhere. I'm gonna get the baby situated. I'm gonna hide up here. Cause yeah, if they I if they get on out. and they get that wall up, bro, that could have been so thick. Like, like make it out. You can do it. Just book it. All right, I'll be right back. To the other side in a minute that I was talking about. Uh, should we blow in first? Yeah. I need to do that down for I can't believe they had one turret blocking this. That mean they had their wall started. Uh oh. Oh nope, we're good. Oh, there's a turret. No ammo, I'm guessing. Bro, they they bro. Why is this so compact when they have an entire cave? <laughs> it is. This is six times, right? Yep. Nice. I wonder what this box is beside me. Oh, I'm out. Damn. Bro! Oh my god, come here. Just come here, come here. Look at this smithy. Look at this smithy. Oh How do they- They have a long neck BP, Paracer, Tranodon. Super legs, cheaper legs. Way cheaper legs. 
Bro, oh my god, look at the fabricator. Trike, bro, there's no way they had this much. We need this. GG saddle blueprint so cheap. Trike saddle BP. There's no way. No way, bro. Thilo, apprentice. There's no way. There's no Stego Carbo, but even the trike is a plus. Oh, Trinidad egg. Don't mind if I do. Alright, I'm gonna grab these. Grab some of these BPs. Bro, that's so nice. For doing nothing, really? Like, already so much profit. Rex. Definitely want that trike. Trinidad's cheaper. Well, we got a trike BP. We'll go ahead and grab the gunpowder and spark powder too. Alright. No cryos though. Here we go. Oh, I instantly got grabbed off. Wait, I can't move. Did we not level weight on this thing? I might have fucked up. There's no weight. <laughs> can do it. Yep. Oh my god. Bro, that is broken. What's even more broken is they have an overcap stego VP too. Wow. They have 25 mutations, bro. Bro, they have overcapped everything. 70 female? Nah. 72, 74, 76, 78. That's insane. Can we go raid them? <laughs> I want their shit. Okay, yeah, I bet they're, everything they have is capped 100%. Every turret, everything. Including, they have over capped BPs for everything. Nice. 75,000. Ah, be damn. Bro. So they had to donate level six clone and shit. They donate an ass tribes, man. Pay to win on this server. That's the shitty part about it. Yeah. I was thinking about donating, but when we're that far behind. Kinda. Well, really no point. Yeah, maybe on like a like a fresh wipe, like like as soon as the store would open or something, so we could get ahead. But not not when we're this 